And we now welcome in Gigi Mazinite here to the set of Game Plan, season number two. Back in studio and coming off one of the biggest wins that you've had here at the University of Texas. What was that like to celebrate and be a part of that win against Oklahoma? Well, I can I can remember when was the last time I had so much fun playing basketball. It was a really fun game to play. What made it fun in this case? I think the teamwork and um, commitment and uh, just trusting each other was were the main keys that made that game so special. How do you think it has come together from where you were a year ago with this whole team, so many new players? What has been key? to getting everything to come together to have a game like that against Oklahoma? I think we're buying into the system more and um, I think we're trusting each other more and more and uh, we have um, our own bags and we just, I guess, becoming a better team every single time. How do you think you played? Well, everyone... You got a big smile on your face. I know, uh, well, I think I had a good game. I mean, it's been a while. And I know that coaches expected uh, more from me, and I think it was a good game for me. Why do you say it's been a while and she's expecting more? Um, well, we had a little conversation before Oklahoma game with the coach, and um, she asked me what, what's been wrong with me, and just because I'm pretty sure you've seen that I didn't play much in the first two games, and um, I just had a little chat with coach, and I woke up in the morning and I decided to, okay, it has to be different today. So what was going on? What was kind of holding you back? Um, I don't know. I think it's the injury from last year and um, maybe not understanding my role clearly. Maybe that was the biggest, uh, the, the, biggest dif the biggest difference. So what do you think your role is for this team now? Well, right now I know that I have to make shots I have to rebound and I have to defend. And then the biggest shot of all, the one to tie the game, to send it to overtime. Take us through that play. Well, in the very last uh, timeout, Neka, she came to me and she said, Gigi, if you're open, I want you to take the shot. And um, it just happened that Empress passed the ball to me and I was open and I just took a shot. And when the ball went through the net, what was that like? It was just like, well, I just made it. But that's. Like you said, coming in here, that's what you expect to do in situations like that. How would you describe the amount of confidence that you have in your ability? Uh, well, I think I can make shots. And at that moment when Empress passed the ball to me, I wasn't thinking about anything. I was just like, okay, I have a ball, I'm open, I'm just gonna shoot it. So, so you have this huge game. You said most fun you've had in a long time on the court. And then you have to turn around quickly and head to Chicago. Why do you need to be in Chicago so quickly? Well, um, my passport expires pretty soon. And in order for me to stay here or go home, I have to have uh, a passport that is valid. So that's why I had to go to Chicago to get a new one. So everything got taken care of with that. Then you come back here. You're now starting for the last time your last semester at Texas. So really your last first day of school in some ways here at the University of Texas. What has this day been like for you? Uh, well, it's a happy day and a sad day at the same time, just because it is my last semester at the University of Texas. But um, it is a happy day just because I'm about to graduate and um, it's just gonna be fun because the real life is about to start. And um, I know that I will have different plans in the future too. Well, it's been fun to watch everything here on court at the University of Texas. And we know a lot more great moments coming up as well. And you see the difference the last two games for Gigi. Nine points per game, shooting 50% from the field. None of those shots bigger than the one to send it to OT against Oklahoma.